Sorry, you're getting something. Oh, yeah, you're good. Dude, um, you pull my pants down. I just get like a. Give me the water. Yes, please. <laughs> what did it matter if I embarrass <laughs> him? I don't think about it. I do probably have to come here in my legs to make it work. Oh, he's wearing sweatpants. <laughs> in high school, his dad had so much hair that it looked like a sweater. It's disgusting. Here we outside. Six, six and a half feet. Easy. Hey guys, so we're just about to film vlog one. It's uh, what day is it? Tuesday, June 27th. Got some tea. Well, he's got some kind of weird beverage. I don't know what it is. Flash looks like brew. Looks like peach flash tea. brew. Best kind of coffee. Don't settle for cold brew when you can have flash brew. Okay. Too close to the camera. Can you see me? <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be answering some questions every uh, every Tuesday. We're gonna be filming these vlogs. And uh, we hope to answer the questions you guys ask on Saturdays at Spectrum. So, uh, yeah, we hope you enjoy it. Sweet. question is how do I know if I'm actually safe and uh, I think that that's a really good question I think that when you look at the Bible when you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 3 I believe it says no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit and so if you're able to say that and you're able to mean that you believe it in your heart then it shows that the Holy Spirit's at work in your life Romans 10 9 says that if we believe in our heart that Jesus is Lord and we confess with our mouth that, uh, that God raised him from the dead that we're going to be saved and so that's another way that you can know for sure that you're saved is if you confess with your mouth you say Jesus is Lord God raised him from the dead I believe and you believe in your heart then you're saved and your name is written in the book of life. also you can know you're saved based on the fruit in your life that means that, that when you accept Jesus your life is changed and maybe you're prone to anger, maybe you're prone to jealousy and you start to see this change in your heart and maybe you're not as set to, to follow after those old ways and maybe you feel this kind of tug of war in your heart. That means that God's working and so you know you can know that you're saved based on the fruit in your life and kind of the changes that you see because of the decision you made to follow Jesus. The follow-up to that question said, will I feel a difference? And I think that's a pretty fair question to ask. I've often asked myself that question as an early believer. What I've come to realize is that our faith is based on fact, not feeling. You know, our feelings can betray us. Our feelings can change just like the weather in Albuquerque. But what's great about our faith being true and on a foundation is that that doesn't change. And no matter how we feel, we can still know that God's promises are real and that scripture is true. And what the Bible says, we can take it to heart that we're children of God, even on days when we don't feel like it. And you may be watching this and you may have had a bad day or a bad week and you feel like, wow, my sin has separated me from God or the circumstances around me have caused God to back away from me and, and I don't feel like a child of God, I don't feel like a Christian, but last time I checked in the scripture, it says that nothing can separate you from the love of God that is in you, in Christ Jesus. And so you could take confidence in that no matter how you feel, in the good days, the bad, the highs, or the lows.